Hello everybody, welcome back to GTA Online. Today we're going to be customizing the new Canis Castigator. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing a new vehicle in GTA Online. This was added today on the 18th of July. It's part of the new bottom dollar bounties update. It's called the Canis Castigator. It's based on the real life Jeep Avenger, for those who don't know. It's on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website, and it costs $1.65 million. So it's not the most expensive vehicle in this update. Some of the police cars have been upgrading have been very expensive um but it's certainly not cheap um some of the other vehicles which are a lot better in my opinion are much cheaper than this but it is a four-seater vehicle as you can see um it has some decent customization so let's take this thing into the custom shop and see what we can do with it okay here we are in the custom shop let's go ahead and upgrade the armor the first visual option we have is a body trim. So the primary, I should mention, is uh, the red you can see there, and the secondary at the moment is set to orange. So anything you see orange will be the secondary. We can go for extended arches, which just adds a little plastic lip there. We can go for a primary, uh, which actually makes all of the trim on the lower part down there um, primary. That plastic bit on the side primary, uh, the plastic on the back all primary as well. And then we can go for primary with extended arches. And it has primary extended arches. Um, I kind of like how it looks just standard. It looks kind of sporty I guess. But I don't know whether I want to go for like the arches. I'm going to go for like a Jeep Trackhawk kind of build with this. I know it isn't a Jeep Trackhawk, it's a it's an Avenger. It's the smaller version. But I want to build like an Avenger Trackhawk. Um, we'll go with the primary with the extended arches. That looks kind of good. Uh, we'll go for full race brakes. Then first bumper options is the next option. We can go for a splitter. We got the race splitter, we got primary bull bars, okay, where is that actually mounted to, the, okay, it comes out just below the lights, uh, we got primary alternative bull bars, we got secondary bull bars and secondary alternate, then we got black bull bars and black alternate. Um, I'm going to go for the race splitter, since we're building this as like a track court kind of look. Um, rear bumper options, we got the primary straight bar, we've got the primary looped bar. I'm guessing this is going to be a police car, or we're going to be getting a police car variant of this sometime in the future. And so these are probably more, if you want to build this thing into like a police car I guess. Uh, we've got a secondary straight bar, we've got a secondary looped, we've got a secondary wraparound, we've got the black straight bar, black looped and black wrap around not a fan of any of them so i'm just going to leave it standard no visual engine options but we can go for full tuning we've got exhaust options next we can go for some chrome tipped we can go for titanium or we can go for rally spec i actually think the stock exhaust look the best so we'll just leave them alone uh, grill options we can go for a custom intercooler intercooler with water sprayer Small logo intercooler, large logo intercooler, and intercooler with bands. I wasn't really expecting that as an option. And to be honest, I don't really like any of them. I don't really think they fit on this car. Um, hood options next. We've got the Vented Mark 1. The Vented Mark 2. So just add some spotlights. I believe they're off the... The Issy Rally, um, I can't remember the name of it. They're like Mini Countryman, the Rally version. I believe those are the same lights. We've got the Vented Mark 
three, which adds a snorkel, um, an axe, a shovel, and the lights, and the vents. There's some hood pins as well. Then we've got the plated hood mark one, the plated mark two, and the plated mark three. Then we've got plated with vents. Oh, the vents are actually in the plate, okay. We've got the plated mark two. Uh, we've got the plated with vents mark three. Then we have the plated hood with vents mark one. Oh, primary plated hood with vents. Oh my god. We've got a mark two version of that and a mark three version. And finally, we've got the primary competition hood. We've got that in a mark two and we've got that in mark three. Um, whew. Um, I mean that kind of looks cool. I I don't know whether I want to go for like the plated look. I mean plated with the vents. That doesn't look right. I don't want to go with any lights or. Uh, that kind of looks good. The plated hood, primary plated hood with the mark mark one vents. That looks okay. We'll go with that. Um, horn options are all the standard horns. The light options, uh, we will check all the lights out when we go outside, but that's where they are in case you're wondering. Um, livery options next. We can go for a white side stripe. We've got that in black as well. Then we've got white stripes over the bonnet. It kind of looks like a Dodge Durango, like that. Uh, we've got a black version of that as well. Then we've got the red trimmed stripes. So it's like two white stripes with a little red outline, which you can't really see because of our primary colour. But uh, we've got a red trimmed with black stripes. We've got the canis stripes, which are cut out because of our vents. Okay, we've got a black canis stripes. We've got the canis graphics. Okay, none of these are really working with our vents, and the stripe on the side looks really weird, to be honest. Then we have the black canis graphics, just a black version of that. We've got the urban camo. I was waiting for a camo option. This is a jeep, after all. We've got a full camo. So you could actually build this into, like, a Fort Zancudo um, sort of military vehicle if you wanted to. We've got flames, okay, I wasn't expecting that, and we've got the Terroil Racing one. That one's kind of cool, if you wanted to build it as a race car, um, I'm not really a fan of any of those. I think they all look hideous. The White Stripes is about the best one, you could make it kind of look like a Durango, but yeah, not a fan. Um, plate options, nothing unusual there, but that's where the plate is, and we don't actually have a plate on the front. Respray options we will come back to, uh, but we do have primary, secondary, and trim. Roll cage next. Um, it's not letting me switch to the interior view again, which is very annoying. But we can go for the standard setup, so no roll cage. We can go for some tuna seats. We can go for tuna seats with roll cage. Uh, we can go for the full race setup, so it's padded cage with sporty looking seats but it doesn't have a harness this time we can go for a race setup with custom seats so it adds the harness in and then we got a competition set up with the carbon fiber seat with the harness um, i'm just going to leave it standard I'm not a fan of any of those roof options next we've got the stock roof we can go for a street roof uh this is like roof scoops uh, we can go for a roof scoop with aerial we can go for a race roof scoop, so it's just a little bit smaller. We've got a race roof scoop with the aerial there. We've got the rally roof scoop, and we got that with an aerial. Then we've got the primary roof box, the secondary roof box. We've got a surfboard. We've got a modern surfboard. We can go for a roof rack if you're going for like an off-road build. We've got classic roof lights. Uh, we have a modern roof lights, which is like a light bar, and that is all the options. It would have been nice if we could have had a roof rack with a light bar, 
That would have been quite cool. Um, but yeah, some decent options in there. I guess if you're going for an off-road build, plenty of good options. Uh, skirt options next. We've got the stock skirts. You can go for some mud flaps. You can go for primary sidebars. Primary sidebars alternate. Then we got primary sidebars with mud guards. We got a secondary sidebar, secondary alternate, and secondary with mud guards. Then we got the black sidebars, black sidebars alternate, and black with mud guards. Um, I'm just going to leave it standard. I think. What does it look like with mud guards? The sort of rally flaps. No, it doesn't look right. Uh, spoiler options next. Uh, so we do have a kind of little lip there. We can go for a rally wing. Okay, that's also taken off the ICI rally. I can't think of the name of it at the moment, but the, the Countryman rally version, the loop spoiler. We can go for a boot-mounted wing. we got the boot-mounted big wing. Okay. We got the race wing. Some of these are looking at that definitely looks like Forza Aero, I have to admit. We got the competition wing and we got the chassis mounted wing. None of them look right, so we're going to leave those alone. Uh sunstrip options next. You guys know I'm not really a fan of sunstrips, but we've got a primary, secondary and plastic one in case you're into that sort of thing. I guess if you're building a race car, that's fine. Now, if you're building this as an off-road vehicle, it does have a decent amount of ground clearance. It is an SUV, so it's designed to be an off-road vehicle on the road, I guess. Uh, but we can get a really decent drop out of this thing, which is really nice. Um, I'm not going to go for the full drop. I'm just going to go about two clicks. So it's just a little bit lower... Just a bit less arch gap, but it's not completely slammed. That looks a little bit better. Uh, we'll go for full race transmission and turbo tuning. Then we just need to find some wheels. Now these wheels are very similar to the uh, actual car that it's based on. The Jeep Avenger has very similar wheels to this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any wheels that look like this in case you do want to paint them. We'll run through here. I don't Whatever think there want. is. Maybe these are kind of similar. Um, but yeah, there isn't really any wheels that you can modify that are similar to this. But they are already black, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pick um, some nice wheels. And then we'll go ahead and paint this thing. Okay, I found these. Uh, they're called Hyperfresh. Uh, they're in the street category and they kind of look like um, the track hawk wheels they're a little bit different there are wheels that are a lot closer to the track hawk wheels um, if you do want to go for that look but I think these suit the car really well they kind of look aftermarket but they fit the car really well um, we'll go for bulletproof tyres and then uh, we'll just go for a light smoke and that looks a lot better already. Um, and then we just need to go ahead and paint the car. That's all we have left. Now, I don't really know what colour is going to look good on this thing. So, we'll run through the colours here. I'm thinking maybe like a sort of monochrome colour. Like a grey or a black might look quite good. But we'll see what some of the other colours look like. A dark red like an actual track hawk would look pretty good. Something like this grace red. Okay, okay I've gone for um, yellow, uh, pearlescent yellow with a um, yellow pearl on here as well. Um, I just think track hawks look so good in yellow. And I, I keep saying track hawk. I know this thing isn't a track hawk, but it's the closest thing we have in the game to it, I guess. And it does look pretty good in yellow. And then I've just gone ahead and painted the secondary colour, which is the door mirrors there in black. Uh, trim options is just going to change... Oh, it just changes that section. Okay, that's new. I've not seen that before. I was expecting it to change the whole interior. I guess we'll go ahead and match that yellow. What does that actually look like from outside? Yeah, 
<laughs> it looks a bit gawping, to be honest, but yeah, we'll leave it. It looks kind of good. Uh, the crew emblem, for those wondering, uh, goes on the door. I don't actually have a crew. so But yeah, it goes on the doors, for those who are wondering. And that is the thing fully built. Let's take it outside, drive it around a little bit, see what kind of performance this thing has, and we'll open up the doors and stuff. Okay, here we are outside in our new castigator. It looks really, really nice, actually, in this yellow paint, I have to say. When the sun's just shining on it like now, it looks absolutely fantastic. I think the black and yellow sort of combination looks pretty good. I really like the front end of this thing. It looks really mean, but the back is absolutely hideous. It definitely has some elements of the Range Rover Evogue in there as well. Um, but I have to say, driving this thing around, it accelerates extremely quickly. So it has very good acceleration. Of course, it is all-wheel drive, being an SUV. And it handles very well as well. For a big off-road SUV, I guess it's more of a crossover than an SUV. Um, it does stick to the road really well. The all-wheel drive is very, very sort of strong, I guess is the way to put it. So it grips the road like mad. Uh, but you can slide it if you want to. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull over somewhere. We'll open up the doors and have a little look around the vehicle. Right, so with all the doors open, um, the engine bay is not detailed at all except for the engine cover that is very very nice but the battery the rest of the engine block is really low resolution so i wouldn't recommend opening the hood on this vehicle if you're taking it to a car show but i do like the front of this thing like i said it kind of looks like a range rover at the front i have to admit um but it does also look very similar to the real life vehicle the interior which we've painted yellow whoops control my NPC a little bit um, I believe this is an interior out of another vehicle um, I don't think this is a new interior correct me if I'm wrong on that uh, but it is quite nice that we can paint that and I think it looks okay painted the same color as the body it's kind of a Jeep thing um, that people do obviously we've not upgraded any of the seats or anything so they're not really that high quality they're just very generic um but it is a four-seater vehicle so you can take your friends with you you can use this as a heist vehicle if you're someone who likes doing heists uh the boot in this thing not like you can actually put anything in the boot but it is quite big um and it is quite detailed i guess there's not really much detail going on the back of the car is hideous i really don't like the brake lights look horrible um the exhausts are quite nice they're quite big exhausts uh, but let's go and shut everything down and we'll have a little look at the lights the headlights and the tail lights okay so we don't have any different light options really uh we just have those sort of strips and then the main beam just makes those brighter it doesn't look like those little squares underneath actually do work, but they do light up ever so slightly. Uh, they're more just sort of like driving lights, I guess. Um, so we do have a couple of little options there. The tail lights are hideous. That's the reverse lights for you there. And the brake lights are just there, I guess. So what do I think of the new Castigator? Well, I quite like the performance of this thing. I like how it drives. It does drive very nice. It has a decent amount of acceleration. It handles really well. The top speed isn't great, like it is lacking a little bit. I think Rockstar should have added the Jeep Trackhawk instead of the Avenger. Um, but they added the vehicle I guess there'll be people out there who are Jeep fans who will like this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it. Are you going to be buying it? Again, it isn't the most expensive vehicle we've had in this update. It is one of the cheaper ones. Uh, it at least has some decent customization. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. 
and we'll be back next Thursday with another car customization video. See you then.